Yo, salut Kaps, I'm the Ottoman Sibruma Stamaya back with another public service announcement and this is For The Cult, brought to you by Go Binge. This is Mr. Maya, yo. I'm getting old. <laughs> I, was, I didn't know what to study it after high school. Then I'm gonna be a tour guide in Cape Town. Then I got into journalism, but my idea was I was always gonna be a news anchor. Good morning, welcome to another episode here of E! News as we give you the sports updates of what's happening right across the country. Then the radio was one of the subjects, and then after I finished studies, my sister told me, you know, how about you go try out the bush radio because I know they're all looking for people. I went there, I was like, you know what? I'm obviously not getting this job. I'm definitely not getting this job. 10 years later, I guess this is me, but I got the job. I made it. Sam and I wish I could interview. They were like, nah, I'm talking to Tupac. And a lot of people talking to Drake. Two pack and Drake, I think that's, that's the people I'm talking to. I don't know if it's something that I'm buying it or I'm making it. I can't even tell you that. I like a brown one, bro. I like a, just a normal margarita sometimes. I don't know. I like the chili cheese bus. I, I can go for days, bro. There's many pizzas. You haven't had brown pizza yet? I was going to bin that shit. It's 250 red. Not going to go wrong. Um, if I'm being honest, I can't even give you one. I know many of them. But I don't know. I think the best is probably the bucket list series. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best online trend, you know, go out, find experience and do it yourself. It's about Mr. Mayer and a shot by GoBench. Fucking epic. If you haven't watched it, check it out. Something I posted in the link. Uh, I posted a picture of my ass once. I actually did a video. <laughs> I did a video, you know what? Everyone got to see, um, you know, the big moon. And it was fucking epic. Like, people loved it though. I mean, the video got half a million views. I mean, I must have something that they want to see. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing about parenting is like seeing this young person in front of you knowing that this is, you know, this is your bloodline. The continuation of your legacy, of your history, of everything. And knowing that this person could be whoever they want to see my young, my young child grow up. And to have my body of knowledge and knowing that I can share that with that person as they grow up. I think that for me is epic. Obviously, um, like your privacy is not the same anymore. Like people feel like they're entitled to know what's going on in your life all the time. You can't even eat the diet like sometimes, you know, sometimes maybe you just want to go out and maybe you just want to chill out, you know, hang out with your friends. Maybe. I'm a God-fearing person and since I believe in God, I believe that no one is above any other person and God is above everyone. And so for me, sometimes I think I'm normal, man. And then I go into places and I just really want to lump at eight and the people say, like, yo, can I take photos? Yo, can I, you know, Mr. May is here. Like, what's Mr. May doing there? Is he drinking? Is he eating? What is he having? And it's like, I just lamb, bro. Like, I, I can't do the same thing that you can do here. I don't know, bro. I wish I could fly a, a firefly airplane or something, bro. Yeah, I'll be a pilot. I'll take myself on my own trips, bro. But as for skills, ah, fuck, I don't care. If I can't sing, I can't sing, go on. And that fuck, whatever, you know. Whatever. You know what? But if I go back and I think about it, I was always telling, I was in grade 7 at school. And I was telling the people, you know what? I'm going to be a marine biologist. Like, you know? This is like, why? So why? Since I love the water because me and the ocean, I don't know, I've been connected to the fucking sea for years, bro. But I don't know, I still had like this freakish want to be close to sea life in water so after you know what maybe i maybe i connect with like animals and things like it sea animals whether it's like helping them or just kind of helping sea life in general you know and then i think that was something i thought i was going to do 100 percent marine biologist got old i was like to do something like that in this country, eh? No, man, I don't think we compete. Uh, I think like everyone has their own avenue. The people that necessarily connect with me don't necessarily connect with them. The people that connect with them don't necessarily always connect with me, which is cool. So, I mean, we, I think we both have our own different avenues. I'm just always giving her advice and I think vice versa. We just can. I also don't even feel like I'm too old to learn. So, I think it's a symbiotic relationship where we always help each other. Because, I mean, that's been, that's really been my best friend since like young bro. As much as I don't see us together as much as we used to be, that has been my best friend since I was. Three things I can't leave the house without inches. Bank card, I don't know. Glasses. Oh, this is Falcon Milano by the way. Thank you for the lovely eye with you guys. You're amazing. A bar. Yo, bro. I'm not that happy anymore. Man. You know what? I'm gonna try to think this. is my first rap that I ever wrote when I was grade five. I was laying, I was playing. Down with the front of my face. Trying to tie my lace with pride. Going down on a low ride. No weed to smoke. I nearly choked. I maybe croaked about once or twice. Eating some rice with a price of Mount Everest. Now I was getting interested in rock and rap. When I heard the song, make it clap. It was like a light that shined in me. Written in a holy decree to overtake the sake of rock and rap. So I said, hey chap, let's go to the arcade and see what these motherfuckers are made of. That was like back in it was like the first thing I ever wrote in my whole life. It was my first original song. So nice, man. I hope you enjoyed my episode. <laughs> Okay, yo. So, yo, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my boss. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode from my side. The way, like I said, this is for the cult. Brought to you by Girl Binge. And we out.